Welcome back to this Instagram series entitled The Bastard and the Birkin. We're going to be analyzing everyday life in the former New York City. Um, yes, this morning was very, very disturbing, I would say, because going towards um, and around Greenwich Village was quite literally vacant. You can tell that there is almost maybe say one or two percent of the population is in that area. And the similar feeling one gets when walking let's say at three or four in the morning in a rather dodgy let's say railroad section of town is what I felt at 7 50 in the morning on a weekday that's absolutely ridiculous and it was disappointing because you could tell nothing was gonna evolve from the day the shops weren't gonna open so there was no even looking at anything um no one's getting paid so there's no buying anything so that's quite a conveyor belt cycle that has been created and will continue for a lot longer than people are going to want to admit especially the politicians and the, the museums aren't going to open galleries are not going to open there you can tell the life isn't going to move that much further restaurants are not going to have life uh, and the grocery stores or any markets are just going to have a very limited get in get out as fast as you can mentality. And I think that's starting to wear on people. If anything, I'd love to go hug a stranger right now. That sounds kind of fun. And I didn't do that before as much and it could have happened, you know, not even, like, not even two, I think two, two or three months ago, there were eight people all crammed together in this living room. And now it's just me in here and Be careful what you wish for. Be very careful what you wish for. Um, you want, you know, to go live in a cabin in the woods. You know, it seems a lot of people wanted to do that and wanted things to stop, wanted a break. And then, you know, having too much of a break can make you a little crazy. The, um, the wantingness of doing something has to be a part of, I don't know, the day to day or else we start to crumble. And that's all the commentary we can withstand at two minutes and 30 something seconds. Um, stay tuned for your next episode of Bastard with the Birkin. And on a fashion note, it people are not going to be wearing high heels for a couple of months. I think people are going to be very out of practice walking in heels once this all blows over.